engineers tasked with building an airport are confronted with countless challenges. The perfect location needs sufficient space, unending flat ground, favorable winds, and good visibility. But spots in the actual world are hardly ideal, and engineers are required to work with what they have, making sure that the finished product is the safest possible construction for pilots. A study of airports all over the world turns up a mixed bag, ranging from risky and rugged landing strips to mega-sized services that operate like small cities. Here, our channel explores the world's most remarkably strange airports and why they stand out. Whether it is because of size, location, or other geographies, we found five airports that are so wild, weird, and uncommon that they require more than just a pass-through. Number 5. Savannah Hilton Head International Airport, Georgia Voted among the top 10 national airports in the USA in 2018, it handled over 2.4 million local passengers in 2017, 40% of whom flew with Delta Airlines. If you ever find yourself taxiing along runway 10 at the Hilton Head International Airport, you may catch a glimpse of something so out of place it will make you do a double take. Yes, entrenched into the tarmac of runway 10 is a pair of grave markers. So, how did they get there? The former property owners, Catherine and Richard Dotson, used the land that the airport now stands on for a cemetery. The Dotsons died in the late 1880s and were both buried in the cemetery. Years later, as World War II approached, the military decided to transform the cemetery into an airport for training purposes and relocated all the bodies in the cemetery to another one. But to honor family wishes, the military left the grave markers of Catherine and Richard behind. Number 4. Dong Muang International Airport, Bangkok, Thailand From a distance, Dong Muang International seems like any other mid-size airport. Though, smack dab in the middle of two runways is an 18-hole golf course. As you play a round of golf on this course, do not be shocked by the sights of jets soaring strangely close overhead. After all, you are golfing on an airport runway. The out-of-place 18-hole Cantorat Golf Course sits smack dab between two parallel runways at Don Muang International Airport. The course belongs to the Royal Thai Air Force, but unfortunately is no longer open to the public. Fear not though, golf lovers, there are a bunch of golf courses no more than 25 minutes from the airport. People who have worked on consulting projects at this airport say one of the major problems is that the only taxiways were located at the end of the runways. They recommended that they build an additional taxiway in the middle, from side to side. The airport and the course were originally an all-military operation, but have since opened up to commercial traffic. Security threats, however, have limited the public's access to the greens. We cannot decide whether this should be on the list of weirdest golf courses or strangest airports. Since we do not have the weirdest golf course video till now, it will reside on the latter. Apparently, there is nothing particularly special about Dong Muang International Airport except these golf courses in between two of the airport's runways. Despite the realistically conventional design of the airport, a huge number of flights both landing here and originating here have crashed. While there are different causes for each crash, the fact that many of these flights are tied to this airport is a scary one. Does this make the airport suspect? Not certainly. There has to be an airport that has a greater crash to successful landing ratio. This airport just happens to be it. Number 3. Gibraltar International Airport, British Overseas Territory You'd be excused for thinking you were seeing things while waiting at the traffic lights on Winston Churchill Avenue, the busiest road in Gibraltar, but fear not, your eyes have not betrayed you. That really was a passenger jet passing in the opposite direction. That is because Gibraltar Airport is the only viable airport in the world to have a highway passing across its runway. In order to provide accommodations to the largest planes, the airport has prolonged its runway, which crossed a busy road. Have you ever dreamt of traveling by car or on foot across the leading runway at the airport? Our unbelievable world provides you with such an exceptional opportunity. Each time somebody wants to drive into the city of Gibraltar, 
they might get trapped in traffic just because the road gets closed every single time a plane is landing at the airport. You might question, why? The answer appears to be perfectly simple. Because Gibraltar's busiest road, Winston Churchill Avenue, cuts directly across the runway. People are allowed to walk or drive across it only when there are no planes ready to take off or land there. Astonishing! Give a little thought for air traffic control here, not only managing the near 4,000 aircraft movements per year, but also the road traffic. The road is closed for 10 minutes for each aircraft movement at the airport. And with that, it is now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Megum Airstrip It is not just legal airports that are used for planes to take off from and land on. Some death-defying pilots might see the potential in a cliff edge that is believed long enough for a sufficient liftoff. In Papua New Guinea, there is a disturbingly huge number of airstrips that are located in many of the mountains. Take this photoshopped picture of Megum Airstrip, for example, which is just one of many dotted around Papua's mountainous region. We recommend using an actual airport because Megum Airstrip is an incredibly steep, rural landing ground that is hardly even unique in Papua. This is because Papua is a mountainous region, and though it is traditional for planes to fly over mountains rather than land on them, there are landing strips everywhere here. Seriously, there are loads of examples like this. It is hard to resist the temptation just to fill out the rest of the list with more like it. Number 1. FNC Madeira Airport, Portugal Madeira is a small island far off the coast of Portugal, which makes an airport that is capable of landing commercial-sized aircraft vital to its development. This airport's original runway was only about 5,000 feet long, posing a huge risk to even the most experienced pilots, limiting imports and tourism. Not only is the airport named after the footballer Cristiano Ronaldo, it also has a rather extraordinary runway. Though it is not the first, Belfast's airport was named after famous footballer George Best back in 2006. The small island of Madeira was comfortably served by a 1,500-meter-long runway, more than adequate to serve the small and medium airliners that brought holidaymakers in their droves. The airport was a victim of its own success, however. As more and more visitors put Madeira top of their holiday wish list, the runway simply was not long enough to cater for large planes like the 747. Not a problem for most airports, but simply spreading the runway at Madeira was not so simple, as it was already located on a rocky outcrop. Shortly after the TAP Portugal Flight 425 accident in 1977, the deadliest airline accident in Portugal at the time, the runway was scheduled for lengthening. Because the airport was built on the side of a cliff, there was no land on which to extend the runway. To account for this, pillars were used to support the extension. The difficult task of designing and engineering the new runway was done by a Brazilian company known as Andrade Gutierrez. The only solution was to construct a bridge structure to support the extended runway. Now at nearly 3 kilometers long, 40% of the runway is supported by over 200 columns. Engineers extended the runway to more than 9,000 feet by building a massive girder bridge atop the 200 pillars. The bridge, which itself is over 3,000 feet long and 590 feet wide, and strong enough to handle the weight of 747s and similar jets. In 2004, the International Association for Bridge and Structural Engineering selected the expansion project for its Outstanding Structure Award, noting that the design and construction were both sensitive to environmental and aesthetic considerations. That's all, folks. Whether you are flying into Gibraltar's International Airport or Portugal's FNC on business, or arriving at the new Don Mueang International Airport in Thailand with the family for your summer break, it is unlikely that you'd have given the airport itself much thought. Most travelers see the airport as a means to an end, often most awful part of a journey, whether it is feeling ripped off for airport drop-off charges or airport baggage trolley fees, queuing at checking on the way out, or the dreaded passport control and immigration at the destination airport. Airports are hardly a part of any trip that you look forward to. 
But consider yourself fortunate if it is just a run-of-the-mill airport you are flying into, as these airports hold various surprises and mysteries that might make you think twice about flying there at all. So this was the list of the world's strangest airports. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos in the future. Thanks for watching.